it's finally back it is time for our reactions finally after what three months well i uploaded one not so long ago but that's because i was behind on work there is still one more project i gotta do with Elder ring stuff uh it's just a compilation of best moments of that series after that i'm back to being back i went through all of nukes bizarre and sir spook we have a good couple months of content question how did y'all feel about the jake paul and mike tyson fight because scam i believe scam i might start the new year with three videos a week because for those who don't know i edit best ofs for soup and matt you no know, larg this year i'm doing four Two for Matt and two for Soup. So, I'm gonna be busy. I will only be doing two a week. Once I submit all the best subs to the respective individuals, I'll probably start doing three reactions a week. But I'm not that far behind from Sir Spook, Nukes, and Bizarre. Even though I took like a four month hiatus, they didn't upload a ton for me to go through. And Sir Spook, yes, he has those hour long videos. But those are going to be live reactions. That's the plan I want to do. Instead of be splitting it up in different videos, I might as well just do one long live reaction. It's your job, guys, now to hunt me down another channel that is in resemblance of Nuke or Bizarre or a sort of spook. If not, find me other channels that deals with horror. Or just find me anything you want me to react to. Even if it is memes are you know edgy memes funny memes dad joke memes if you want me to do memes too i'll go back to doing memes i used to do before you guys are the boss you guys let me know with that being said let's get back into the horror daddy nukes top five This next creepy footage was captured live on national TV. I am Argentina. lowering this shit down. Jesus so in Christ. Argentina, there's a program called Phenomenos, which is broadcast live and covers notable weather events in Argentina and around the world. The show's co-host, Matias Bertolotti, is doing a normal weather forecast for the upcoming weekend. Okay. And this happens. Por eso es el día quizás de estos próximos días, porque se viene la humedad. Y ahora sí, la esperada lluvia en la zona central, que están esperándola muchísimo, asociado con las perturbaciones de mal tiempo, va a realzar todo esto. The program switches to a live security camera overlooking the boardwalk of the city of Corrientes. But something pale and translucent can be seen walking across the field and out of frame. The strange figure looks almost like the torso of a person, with arms moving quickly, almost as if whoever or whatever this is, is running. A shocked viewer is watching the show and shares the footage to his Instagram. It quickly gets a massive amount of attention. By the end Gary. of the program, Matias looks at the footage live on air and says that both he and the TV crew have no idea what this is. But they do know hmm. that whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have any legs. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es eso que pasa cuando estábamos en vivo? Esto sucedió en vivo. A ver, esto no, no es... No, o sea, no estamos jodiendo. Se los digo en serio, eh. No estamos jodiendo. Esto pasó en vivo cuando estábamos hablando del tiempo y la cámara es de paso... The de curse on Argentina's TV? Ay, ¿qué es eso? No tiene patas. You're telling me you could curse on live TV in Argentina? I mean... Yeah, okay. Go ahead and curse on live TV. I mean... When it comes to live TV... Those are the elements where you can't really think, oh, they're just trying to fake it. They're just trying to, you know, put on a show. It's the news. But it's like, what's the benefits of them putting doctored footage on the show? Because if the investigation launches and they find that it's not real, can't they lose their ratings or their credentials? Is this just like this? I believe it's true. I can see it happening. Yeah. I can see this is they're they're not they're not lying to you. The Continental Inn. Genesis oh, John Wick. The Continental Inn in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. A hotel which sits right across the road from a cemetery that is the final resting place uh. of nearly nineteen thousand bodies. With a location huh. like that, 
it's no wonder that the hotel has built up quite a bit of a reputation for being haunted. Now Jenna is working the front desk at 5 in the morning when she and one of her co-workers, Tim, spot something very odd on the lobby security camera. They said it's not the hotel that's haunted, it's the graveyard. Um, okay. So this service road here where Danny and I used to park, that's the old Stony Plain Road. Oh, really it was a mist. They, when they dug up all the bodies here, that was a good one, moved them over to the graveyard. They dug up the bodies and what? Yeah. Is it coming back? They know. What's up? Oh yeah, I see it again. Another mist. Yeah, let's try and sit in the chair. Sometimes he'll stay there for a minute. He is. How do you know this? Well, because Danny and I caught him earlier when Danny was in the games room locking up. I freaked the f out because I saw him. And then I tried to do a video review to record it and it wouldn't let me. Quitting. A faint pale figure can be seen moving around the hotel lobby and sitting down in one of the chairs before just disappearing completely. Jenna's co-worker Tim Quitting. claims that he's seen the bizarre figure many times before, and he believes that it has wandered over from the cemetery across the road. But lost spirit or not, I leave that up to you to decide. Quitting. Mirror, mirror. Melina Zunder is celebrating Mother's Day in her home in Nova Trento, Brazil. She records okay. herself as she enjoys a Brazilian dessert Ooh. treat and shows the thoughtful present that she received from her son. But then something happens that she her to her core. What you guess? Gente, vou comer com vocês. A da vida, oh. que é da do seria da Lulu. Trust it, thank you. Obrigado. É um espelhinho de bom que eu abri no chão. Olha, que lindo. But the middle thing being blurred doesn't help. Did you see it? In the reflection in the mirror, a pale face can be seen looking right at Melina, almost as if someone was standing right in front of her. After reviewing her video two days later, Melina is shocked. She posts the video to her TikTok in search of answers. The video goes viral, quickly gaining over 3 million views. Ooh. Many stunned viewers wonder whether there's anything in front of her that could have been reflected in the mirror. Get your career to go, like girl. TV. But Melina shows that in front of where she was sitting at the time, there's actually a backyard, not even a wall. She also says that her husband and son were inside at the time. So just who but or what? How does this the husband look like that mirror come with an uninvited guest attached? One, I got to see the husband Two, welcome to the creative page. You now have a career to fund. Welcome to the partnership program. It's videos like these where skepticism is like to the max because I want to see the husband. The husband looks nothing like this. Okay, then that's scary. Like, truly, really scary. But if the husband kind of resembles this, you can just put a little bit of makeup on. You know, women always have the foundations. You could excessively put powder on your cheeks with the foundation or blush or whatever you want to use to make yourself look pale. All that is options. So I don't, I don't truly believe this one. It just, just. It's too much skepticism. But welcome to the career to fun. Crossing over. Take that user Mutalu4256 is Mutalu. driving down a quiet road somewhere in Thailand at around 8 o'clock in the evening. How come Suddenly, it's not Mutalu? Well, just watch. I just missed it. Oh. A woman wearing a white dress appears out of nowhere, forcing the panicked driver to swerve around her. Mm. Brightening and slowing down the footage, things get even weirder. The eerie apparition seems you to see her face? partially appear, and then it just disappears altogether. 
So could this driver have captured evidence of the paranormal on his dash cam? You decide. Every single country that I could even think of has a woman in the white dress in the middle of the road. That's like a legend that is like spread throughout what? The whole world, essentially. Because in Latin America, you have La Llorona. Not, I mean, La Llorona is something different. But you still have the whole element of a white dress dying in the park or dying in the highway or whatever. And I think even every individual state in the United States has their own lady in the white dress type of phenomenon or legend. Unless you're in like the Hickerbilly area where your neighbor's like 3.4 miles away and everybody in the town, his name is Billy Bob Joe Timmy Tom. Maybe you won't get much of women in the white dress in the middle of a highway because y'all motherfucker got dirt roads or farmland or just very tight-knit communities with the residency being like at what 200 400 people there's a lot to consider when it comes to women in a white dress type of legends with ghost stories it's fairly common really really common apartment tour gone wrong uh oh a realtor from Ladson South Carolina is giving a tour of a brand new luxury apartment to an interested couple then it goes terribly wrong Damn. <laughs> So this is the full vault. Yes. Yeah, that would help me actually. Let it up. Damn. I didn't even own it yet and you stay in my doors. Yeah. Is that closet? That's washer dryer hookups. Yeah, cool. I'm sorry I kicked you. Can you go back? There's a person in there. There's a person in here? Boyfriend. Hello? Touring the apartment heads alone into the back bedroom and checks out the closet. But surprise, because there's just some weird dude hiding in there. Yeah, hey, under armor. Understandably, she kind of freaks out and runs out of the room and warns the others. The realtor is shocked, and after checking out the bedroom herself, she just says, um, okay, we're gonna go. Can you go my there's a person in there. There's a person in there? <laughs> Hello? Now, it Wait. bears repeating that these are brand new luxury apartments in a guarded community. So it seems odd that a squatter could even get in there. But what would you do if you were touring an apartment and a guy just popped out of the closet? Who's in my closet? Who's in my closet? Literally, somebody's in my closet. What I would do if somebody was in my fucking closet? I don't know. If I open my closet and the person goes like, boo. I don't have the slightest of clues of what I would do. By the way, YouTube, fake, 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 okay? Fake. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com while you are sleeping. It's three in the morning in Erie, Pennsylvania, and Jorge Cruz and his family are oh, I've been fast eerie. asleep in bed. Suddenly, the is kind of eerie. Slammed shut. Now Jorge is woken up by the sound, but doesn't think much of it and goes back to sleep. But the next day, he begins to wonder what could have caused the door to slam. He checks their baby monitor footage, and what he finds makes his blood run cold.
Okay, what's that? Oh, a shadow. It's just getting darker and darker and darker. Moving the... Going inside the crib or reaching in the crib. banging can be heard before the bedroom door slams shut and a dark shadow like figure can be seen creeping up the bottom of the baby's crib seemingly watching the child sleep the dark mass seems to reach over toward the child even moving around a stuffed animal then it simply disappears into thin air Jorge says that he feels the entity might be a dark presence in his home so did the family capture a paranormal entity on camera? Let me know what you think. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, how do you doctor this? How do you manipulate this? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just trying, I'm trying to think of every possible way where you could possibly man manipulate this. Maybe where the screens were black, you put in images of said, I don't know, not images, but like somewhat, no, but it makes no sense. Nah, I, I can't think of anything because whatever that black figure was, maybe you could put in a hook maybe i don't know it's yeah i no i can't think of anything uh check your children get them the fuck out of that house sell it burn it insurance get another house whatever you put on the mortgage take out from the mortgage and put a down payment in the other house and then sell this house and then pay out the rest of the house boom money uh no wait then You get a little bit of profit because if you sell the house, whatever you owe, you got to pay the rest of the house off of whatever the per next person buys it. So you bought the house for 500,000 and you only put a hundred twenty five thousand. If you sell the house with 650, you got to put the rest of the. What? 350,000. And then you profit 150, which means you have $450,000 left, which you can put into the new house. Maybe? I don't know what I'm talking about. I could be completely wrong. Who knows? Uh, or such, so sell the baby. I think that's more simpler than this selling the house. Sell the baby. There's a lot of particular markets deep in the internet that might allow it to. Or just talk to Matt Gates. He'll probably sell your baby for you. Sick em blue. A woman and her dog are seriously freaked out when they notice a chair mysteriously rocking Bro. back and forth on her back. Dude, who has gone violent. Jesus Christ. You guys, it rocks, but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know it. I know. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on blue. Huh. Attack him. Right? Your blue is fucking Katie, useless. I guess they do have a ghost, bitch. Yo, your dog Get useless. I'm shutting the door. Little Shih Tzu puppy blue anxiously barks and growls at the chair as it continues to rock back and forth all on its own. Now, unfortunately, the original source of this video was lost through the internet, almost like it was erased entirely. Mm. Many curious viewers of the video believe Blue can see or sense something that we can't. The viewers mm. wonder whether the chair I mean, belonged to someone who might have passed away. But without true. a source, whatever happened next remains a mystery.
I mean, trying to find a source shouldn't be that hard nowadays, unless you're a no personality, just cheat minded iPhone user. Because us with the Galaxy, we have, well, also the Google Pixel and stuff like that. We have an AI system that already works, but you guys have to buy a new phone and then wait for an AI update. What? So with us, we already have an AI where if I take a screenshot and just hold the home button, it will look up in the internet, anything that relates to that screenshot in an instant, or again, I can just hold the home button and circle it and then boom, it searches up for me. So it's like, it's not that hard to find a source. Like if I wanted to like this, for example, all I have to do is just, and then just, all right, see, I just extend the image and then, you know, it has things related, but you can see a lot of that original video pops up. And what I could do is potentially go through all these results to maybe find the original source. And then I could hit the top visual matches and try to narrow down what it is. So yeah, that simple. I found do that in five years. Peaker. TikTok user Celeste Castro from the city of Culiacan, Mexico is home oh. alone at one. I got so scared her Castro and I'm part Cuban. I kind of. Had a little chill go by in my spine. Is Pika the cousin of Looker from Pokemon? A.M. When she hears strange sounds coming from her Barrientos. Luis Barrientos. <gasps> no. No, mami. No sé qué hacer ya. No sé qué hacer. Girl, Is that a head? I saw a head. I thought it was reflection. No, mami, no, mami, está la puta puerta. Ay, no. Voy a cerrar la puerta. No hay nadie, o sea, no hay nadie, no hay nadie. He's right behind you. The truth is, what? You better put that shit on full HD now. 4K girl. You're trying to capture shit. You don't use it at the highest resolution. You you use it in the basic to lowest resolution, so it records for a long while. 4K has a huge file size. Unless you're going straight to your cloud with your uploads. No mames, no mames, no mames. No mames, no mames. What's no mames? No mames, wait, no mames. Que vergas es eso, que vergas es eso. Me está dando miedo. Te lo juro que estoy temblando. She's like... No, no mames, no mames, no mames, no mames. Celeste gets the scare of a lifetime when she sees something peek out. Oh. That's about enough, and she just gets out of there. She spent the rest of the night at her cousin's house. To this day, Celeste claims that she has no idea what she captured on her phone that night. She says that nothing weird or out of the ordinary has happened at her house since then. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? 
Hmm. That thing is to the wall. That's like, it's like very close to the wall. The person has been very skinny for them to do that. So it's, uh, it's very difficult to try to like explain that. And a lot of Latin America is very haunted and very insane. So I, I could believe it. A house with horrible history. Oh God. Reddit user Octopus Funeral has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What a name. So the backstory on his house is that nearly a hundred years ago in 1925, a man suffered an extreme nervous breakdown and brutally ended the lives of his two young daughters before oh. ending his own life. Chris Benoit. Now, almost a century later, Reddit user Octopus Funeral says he used to be a skeptic, but that all changed when he moved into this house. He says that strange unexplained events begin to haunt his family. He says the paranormal encounters became more extreme and aggressive with every passing day in the house. Mm. One day, he's in the basement doing laundry, and he feels that something is just kind of off. He takes out his phone and starts to record. What happens next is downright creepy. Like I was saying earlier, um, most of the stuff does happen down here. Um, and, I mean, you can't really... There. That's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> yep, yeah, that's what you call. Mm. I hate that. Freaks me out, man. It's getting goosebumps. Uh, boy, here we go with the door now. door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close. Stay like that. Oh, there you go. Let go of it. Mm. Reddit user Octopus Funeral says that the paranormal activity in the house freaked him out so much that he and his family eventually just moved out back in 2017. He says that since then he didn't even want to think about that house. But only recently, he decided to transfer this video from his old phone to share with the paranormal community on Reddit. So is this old house in Philadelphia haunted by the tragic spirits who lost their lives there? You decide. I love having people who are actually smart. My man's like, what? Fuck this house. He moved. Why? It's not that hard. If you're going through some turmoil, leave leave well, this man is a genius fucking genius i wish i had a better angle man because you could tell this little dip where you could walk into that shelf maybe it's a person there just like with a stick behind the shelf pushing things off or hitting things off maybe less skeptical i need more angles and this didn't have much angles that i wanted because things were falling from the shelf which somebody could easily just get like a little rod, a very thin like a crowbar or even a ruler and have it, you know, skinny ways, long ways, skinny ways, or even whatever. There's a lot of metal pipes that are very thin. It's hard to see. You could easily use that and just move things. And then with the door, you could easily have a little hook where you could latch onto it and then someone could pull it and then you know, let it go so it could just whatever. I don't know. That's just my brain braining the situation. Tick tock. Tick tock user Hevelista says he made the terrible mistake of fooling around with a Ouija board at his home in Germany. And of course, it did not go well. Beyond from Germany. Ach, ich wollte mich gerade schlafen legen, auf einmal ist die aufgegangen. Mit schlafen. Die ganzen Tage ist sie nicht aufgegangen und jetzt gerade hat sie sich einfach geöffnet, Digga. 
Approach kann man hier unser Wasser. Wenn hier irgendwas in diesem Raum ist, dann macht diese Tür auf. Wenn hier irgendein Geist oder so drin ist und du mich hören kannst, dann mach diese Tür auf. Now put a grenade in it and close the door. Bro, I swear to God, I swear to my mother, there is no snow or something, that you think I'm going to die, bro. Look. Look. There is no snow, nothing. I swear to my mother. Nothing. I see nothing electrical about it. It's just latches. There's just latches, so there's no mechanism for it to open and close. Bottle, bottle? Okay. This is... Did you freeze it? Bro, the ASMR go crazy for this scene. Are you gonna burn it? What ha have I always said? When in doubt, the door of an antique clock hanging on the wall opens up by itself, after which the it. pendulum just drops right out of the clock's frame. TikTok user Hevelista says that's about enough. And the very next day, he burns both the clock and the Ouija board. But this begs the question, what would you do? Would you just burn it all? Yeah. Let me know. Last two videos is what I always wanted everybody to do. One, get the fuck out, which is move out, which the last person did. And this person, and I always joke around too, burn it, burn it alive. What did this person do? Burn it alive. I'm proud of these people. Really, really proud of the last two of this top five, the top 10. Yeah. This top 10, I'm actually proud of the last two. One moved out and the other one burned it. Now I just need to see a person who moved out of the house and then burned the house down. Then I'll be 100% satisfied. That being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Nukes Top 5. I think it's the damn title of the video. And scary videos, or are you a big baby? If I was a newscaster, or if I was the girl with the mirror, uh, I would have been a big baby. Just putting it out there. I would have been a big baby. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I love your faces. And I'm out. Peace.